But Lil Wayne just sold all his masters, bro. To you know, back to uh, Universal Records for a hundred million. Apparently, he's gotten in some trouble with the law as well, and I guess he needed the, the money. What do y'all think about Lil Wayne selling his masters collection for a hundred million? I, I think he's selling himself short, big time. I don't know what y'all think about that. Uh, if you notice, if you notice, I'm looking on the floor right now. I was trying to find um, one of my two year olds' toys of a clown because that's what Lil Wayne is, in my opinion, for doing that. <laughs> Um, mm. I think I think it's ridiculous. Uh, I, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to trash Lil Wayne. I'm not gonna act like I'm not a fan. He has a, a nice collection of hits that I'll probably you'll see me bumping, regardless of how he acts in his you know personal life. But um, him selling his masters to me goes right along with taking a picture with, picture with Donald Trump. You did that for the check. Like there's money involved in those things. Um, and I just feel like Lil Wayne even said it when he was jumping on everybody's features. Like he's a he's a whore. Like he does things for money and we can say, you know, you're hustling, you're getting your paper, whatever, like, cool. Like you're a sellout at the same time though. Like you, you do a lot of shit that's just for money and there's no real substance behind it. Uh, but that's my take on, on Lil Wayne. I'm, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and jump in. Damn, Rome. I, I didn't know you had those pent up that pent up aggression towards my man Weezy F baby. Man. I don't even dis I don't even dislike Weezy, man. Like I love uh the Drought 3, the Drought 2, all, all of it, all his mixtapes, the, the albums, the Carters. I fuck with it, man. But like if I separate the music from the man, do I really like like do I really care for uh Dwayne Carter, the person? Like I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Nah, I feel yeah. you, man. I mean, I don't, I don't, I feel you on that. But I, I just, I hate to see any artist, any creator, just giving up their work like that. You know, it just hurts. You know, just from the from the value standpoint of owning your own shit. You know, it just hurts. I, I hate to see him go out like that and just get pimped out by a major label like that. You know, it's just really sad. You know, honestly, it's really sad. I, I think uh, sometimes. We, we see successful people in general across all fields and kind of want to associate that with being smart or being clever, you know what I'm saying? Just, just being quick, just being, you know, sound-minded. Um, outside of making music, I, I don't know if I've really seen that from Lil Wayne, period. So this this move doesn't really surprise me. Um, he, he fought. This is the crazy part. When you, artists are fighting labels they're suing they're doing all sorts of stuff they're they stop they stop making music they'll put out a bunch of garbage songs they're, tr they're trying anything to, to get their masters and wayne was one of those artists right he, he had to beg and plead he finally got his master from birdman and now he's selling them um, it, it kind of just reeks of desperation um he obviously needs the money he, like rome said he got the check from trump uh i just saw that he, he got sued by like a former manager or something like he, he's in a bad place financially. To make a move like that, you know, it's just, like I said, it reeks of desperation. So hopefully whatever he's going through, I know he got he has charges. He pleaded guilty to something where he's facing potentially 10 years. It's not in a good place right now. You know what I'm saying? It's not in a good place. So, you know, hopefully he figures it out. But some of those masters is a horrible idea. I, I feel like that kind of takes away from your generational wealth, right? Because $100 million can go. We can, we can spend $100 million. That only yep. lasts as long as you spend it. Those, those masters, people are going to be uh, sampling Little Wayne songs. You know what I'm saying? Our kids, kids are going to be listening to songs that, you know, the Carter. And we like, dang, where, where I know that from? Oh, that's Fireman. Oh, oh, that's Birdman yeah. Show You. Like, they're going to be sampling these songs. And he won't profit. Ray Janae won't profit. Her kids won't profit. And um, in a black community, we, you know what I'm saying? Especially on the, on the Twitters, we talk a lot about generational wealth and and a hundred million dollars does give, give you generational wealth if you manage it correctly, but you you stood to you stood to make more than a hundred million dollars. So, it, you know, what I'm saying it was really subtraction by addition. <laughs> like that's that's kind of what it boils down to. The man. fact that he's even in this in this situation kind of proves that he doesn't manage his money well. Right, man. Let me mm -hmm. let me let me play devil's advocate a little bit. You know, I do agree with some of what y'all saying. You know, it is sad to see what Wayne. Where Wayne is right now, and the move does. I'm not gonna say it reeks of desperation, but you can smell it a little bit. You can smell it a little bit, and uh, you can smell it like but, you smell Lamar. But <laughs> right, right, no good. but you know, on the flip side, let's keep it a hundred, man. Let's keep it a hundred million. All right, a lot, a lot of people not gonna see a hundred million in their lifetime. In fact, ninety nine percent of the world's population not gonna see a hundred million in their lifetime. Actually, it's over 99%. I don't know that exact percentage. 
but I guarantee you they're not going to see it. You know what I mean? So we're talking about a hundred million dollars. Um, there's a, a hundred million ways that you can double and quadruple a hundred million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like you have that type of money. You don't got to be the biggest genius in the world to make a hundred million dollars generational wealth. I'm just, you know, like you can give it to a money manager literally. And if you, if you find the right one, they're going to bring you money. They're going to bring you ROI every year. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying I don't want to just like crucify him for selling his masters for a hundred million dollars. Cause he, I don't know what his plan is for the hundred mil. And uh, you know, you guys know me. I, I like, I want, I want, I let everyone prove themselves first. So I, I'll, I'll be waiting to see what he's going to do with the hundred mil. Like T said, he's in, he's involved in the case. You got to have some money to pay that. You know what I mean? He's probably about to go get the best lawyers for that. So, you know, I wish him the best. You know, I do miss uh, Mixtape Weezy, though, man. Bring, bring the old Weezy back, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we we miss the old Weezy, man. It ain't this, nothing like that era. This the whole thing about it, right? Like, who you are is the exact product of your past behavior, your past actions. You know what I'm saying? Mixtape Weezy is why we have current Weezy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be to be wheezy now, you had to be wheezy then. Like no, like we we need a new wheezy. We need you know what I'm saying somebody more of sound mind. You know what I'm saying less lean and you know what I'm saying more good judgment. Yeah, the thing about wheezy is they already used them up. They already used us. Yeah. It's just like I said, just like I said about a, a, a you talking about franchise. You talking about romancing a franchise player and, and, and organizations and whatnot. That's exactly what. What would, would these organizations do to players? Same thing that Cash Money Records did to Lil Weezy. They 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 strung my man out. They 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 milked him for every song he had. They worked him like a fucking slave. He worked end to end, hour to hour, drugs on drugs, drugs on drugs on drugs. He fucking they whored him out on 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 the stage on the regular. They put him on every tour, every feature, left and right. The dude didn't stop working for the entire entire, and it was it was literally the entire time he was going. They give gave him the best years of his life. And then they sold them back. They took it back. And they're, they, yeah, hundred million is a lot of money. It's more than most people will ever see in their life. But same time, Universal Records is going to make that hundred million hundred times over. I guarantee yeah. it. His because his 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 collection is absurd. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's what's crazy, right? Because like I said, I feel I really feel like it reached a desperation because to get to this point, Wayne has a lot of industry connections, man, and I would assume. Uh, the way some of these people talk about them, Two Chains, Drake, Nicki, you should be able to lean on them for a million, two million, maybe even three. When, uh, Drake got it, Nicki got yeah. it, Two Chains might toss you a million, and the fact that you had to sell, like you had to sell your masters, you know what I'm saying? This was not a good business decision. I, I can't understand outside of I need this huge lump sum right now to help me. I, I can't understand it. It goes against everything that other artists are doing and working. So that's the, you know what I'm saying. Score one for whoever got the masters, man. That was a you got them for cheap, man. You got them for the low. That's a crackhead price. Yeah, man. We're talking about Lil Wayne, bro. Like, there's no way that he got the right value for his masters, bro. Like, it, that's crazy. Like, he shouldn't have done this. No, I agree, hundred percent. He shouldn't have done it. But I don't know, man. I don't know the numbers. The uh... The, the rate on masters, you know what I mean? I don't know how that works. I don't know how long it takes to make a hundred million off masters, no matter how great your collection is. <laughs> but I guarantee you it's not five years to make a hundred million off masters. You know what I mean? It's probably more like 50, 60, something, you know, it's probably some years to make a hundred get to hundred million. That doesn't mean that he made a smart, you know, investment with that. You know, it's still not a smart investment by any means. But what he did essentially was the cash out option. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you hit the lotto and they ask you if you want to get paid weekly or if you want to just go ahead and cash that whole thing out, a lot of people going to cash that thing out, bro. Like some people going to be like, oh, I'll let it get paid weekly. My kids can get paid weekly and all that. Some people going to say, nah, give me that 100 million and I'm going to do what I do with it. You know what I mean? Right. So, right, right. You know, I, I look at it too. If you look at it, hey, that's, so, that's, I guarantee we, you that's how he's looking at it. <laughs> I guarantee you that's how he's looking at it. So that's we're talking about Lil Wayne, man. Let's let, let's talk about this mixtape. What y'all think about that no ceilings? Oh man, I got through about two tracks, bro. It's all right. It, it, it's it's nice. It's not great. The best the best song on there is is uh 
you know, it's because of Drake. Drake, Drake makes it the best song on there. Yeah, it sounds it's like a, a mixtape uh, of a guy who just sold his masters because he really needs some money. <laughs> it's some because because the new because the new the, the the new the new John ain't bringing in no money. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's 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 really the problem, bro. Like I feel like he sold his masters because he knows that we'll never see that that Lil Wayne that that dedication three Lil Wayne that dedication two. Uh, we're we're not gonna get the no ceilings Lil Wayne. Right. We're not gonna so, get those so, those tracks. Hold up for for a point of reference, right? Taylor Swift masters were, you know what I'm saying, bought for 300 million. Right. Right. Now her masters probably, you know, in the grand scheme of things, are probably gonna be worth more, a little more than Wayne's. Three know? times Wayne? Yeah, you wouldn't think nah, three bullshit. times. <laughs> she, she, she doesn't relevant. have as much work. She's relevant. Yeah. Very, very relevant. She doesn't have as much work, man. I mean, I don't know if it's man. true. I heard rumors back in the day that Jay-Z sold Kanye's masters to buy back his own. So, but but that just kind of shows you how important that you know what I'm saying the masters yeah. are. To yeah, people have people have allegedly screwed other people over to get their masters, which yeah. is why this is a, a head scratching move by Lil Wayne. But he when does head scratching moves all the time. When your head look like that, you're gonna do a lot of head scratching. <laughs> I don't know if anybody was touching that dedication three Wayne though. Know. I don't know, man. Dedication three or drought three. Both. Oh, both. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> both the threes. I personally, I don't know. I think I personally lean towards drought three. You know what? Some of them songs on on both those mixtapes, I never even learned the real lyrics to the real song because that's oh, how is much drought three sky the limit. Is that, is that the mic? Yeah. 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 That's the one. Nah, facts though. Like the whole time I, I was listening to John, and I mean, somebody was like, "Yo, you know, heard the song." Called, I think it's called Zoom. And I'm like, well, I never heard that shit. And I heard it, and I'm like, oh, you mean? I was like, oh, you mean boom? <laughs> he was like, nah. <laughs> it's called Zoom. And I was like, what? I thought it was called Boom this whole time. Like, because Wayne said, man, that bitch go boom, boom. <laughs> I was just like, okay, that's how I know it, you know? But certain songs made a classic, classic, classic. Well, man, let me hear that yeah, again. Man. We might just sign you the gas records. Let me hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> like, boom. 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 Yeah, yo, boom. Hey, yo. Yo. Yeah, yeah, we too. signed you the Wayne, gas records. Wayne literally made Wasted for like, he made that song pop for like a year and yeah. a half longer than it should have popped for. <laughs> like, yeah. Facts. I never even knew the fucking lyrics to the real ice cream paint job, bro. Facts, 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 facts. Swag serving, swag serving, like, you know, oh, like, hold, hold, hold. Not, no, 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 the, the original swag serving, come on, man. That's, yeah, that's but, I'm but saying, Wayne, though, but the way Wayne, 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 Wayne put the lyrics on that shit that they never had. Look, man. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. The no ceiling. The oh, let's do it. Yeah, the oh, let's do it. Oh, man, bro. I started fucking with Walker just because of that. He said, lock the CEO up, and I'm the <laughs> I'm CEO up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. That's my guy. And All I know is take away from this man is like it, it's forever stupid for him to sell his masters. Cause I started this thing off saying that he was a clown, but I was still listening to this man's music. My first concert was Lil Wayne, bro. Like yeah. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm That's really what stop. it comes down I'm to. I'm gonna never stop. I'm gonna never stop listening to Wayne music. And then the thing is when I listen to it, I listen to it in bunches. Like, I was listening to uh me and my drink the other day, and then it got me on the tangent. I was listening to <laughs> Pussy Money Weed. And I was like, oh, man, that was a, oh, man, slept That's on track. Trip. Slept on track, man. So many, hey, hold, so many, a, so many timeless tracks, bro. I'm going to push this thing forward a, a little bit more. Like, I'm going to tell you why it really blew me that, like, he he sold these masters for, you know what I'm saying, for so cheap. Like, I was having a conversation earlier with a coworker, uh, an Asian guy, to be honest with you. And um, it kind of came up. He, he mentioned, like, the Hiltons, the Kardashians. But it kind of came up like, where is the black royalty? You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as the families go, where's, where's the black royalty? And not saying that Wayne and Ray Janae is black royalty, but potentially, you know what I'm saying? That money is what creates that. that you know what I'm saying? Them, them families where that wealth just gets, it trickles down to more and more money. You know what I'm saying? And Diddy and honestly, them doing, doing a good job, I'd say. Honestly, what, what do we have? You know what I'm saying? Oprah doesn't have kids. Tyler Perry doesn't have kids. The Carters. We got, we got the Carters, we got the Obamas, we got yeah. we got the James, we got LeBron James family. You know, you know one thing, 
I feel you. Well, on that. Is I think probably we we definitely got families, and you know, uh, thing about it is the real money you you know you usually don't know their names. Like, how about dude? How many kids do that donated all that bread to uh to Morehouse? How much? How many kids he got? I don't know, but he went in there and gave everybody uh pay for everybody's college. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying I'm not saying we don't have rich black people or wealthy black people, right? But what I'm saying is we don't have generations of of wealth where that the entire family look upon them differently. You know what I'm saying? Like like the Kennedys. Uh like we don't yeah, have we, that yet. We, and yeah, and we, to build yeah. that, it takes a lot of money. Yeah, we also were set. We also were set back. You know what I'm saying? When the when the kids nah, that's, were that's the true. But were making their rain, we, we still had the, had the separate water fountains. You know, nah, but, like, right, yeah, right. not to mention but, like the Tulsa massacre and shit like still that. Face, right, other people. That's why when you see these business decisions go this way, the irresponsibility. You know what I'm saying? It just hits a little harder. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if if this was MGK or Eminem, I would not care. You know what I'm saying? But when you see a black guy that has, he's amassed all his success. He's been on uh, First Take. You know what I'm saying? He's been in a lot of places that a lot of people don't get access to. <laughs> he got the theme see, song for Undisputed. Uh, okay. That's what I'm saying. And, yeah. and to see him in a situation where that's he looks desperate, it, it just yeah. kind of, it just, it, it just hit a little different. You know what I'm saying? To me. Yeah, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I feel you, bro. I feel you. It just feels like, what's my man look like? Look like some gum. I just got chewed up, spit out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it makes me sick. Like to be honest, yeah. But nah, I'm serious. Like he got milk. Like, he got. He got milk. <laughs> out. You know, milk out. Out. No, because like I a do towel. It. You know, when you're bringing a towel out, you just keep bringing that shit out. And just I did them. Bring my out. He's looking at it. Seriously though. Like, like, I feel, I feel, I feel what y'all are saying, man. I feel y'all hundred percent. Like you know, it is tough because I think the perception of things is that you know there is you know black wealth and black wealth is not building. You know what I'm saying? When it, when it, when it in fact is as and and you know since for for some time now has been on a. Well, I guess we had some years with the with the you know the Great Recession where it dropped off, right? A few years, but it's been about the album. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the great recession. Because as far as I know, as but, far as I know, black wealth is, 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 you know what I'm saying, it's risen at the same rate as white wealth. And when you're behind in a race running the same speed really doesn't help. Right, right, right. But, you know, it's time to stop looking at it, in my opinion, as a race. You know what I mean? We're not in a race with anybody. We in a, we in a, we're in a building mode for ourselves. You know, and as long as we're still comparing ourselves to anybody, especially to anyone that's had an unbelievable head start, that is an un unbelievable uh, playing field. Uh, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, it just doesn't equate, you know. So we we gotta. We got. I mean, personally, I try to not to compare when it comes to that, you know. And we we gotta compare ourselves to ourselves. Are we doing better than we did last year? Are we doing better than the, we did the year before? You know. And I and I, and I think I still agree with. I, I do agree with you. You know, we need more black wealth, but I think that also starts with you know with us as individuals on the individual level. Contributing to black wealth, you know, uh, and that's 